Hello everyone, my name is Jill Schiffelbein and I will be your online instructor for the online version of this hybrid COM 259 Business and Professional Communication course. I'm really happy to be involved in this effort as I think hybrid courses really combine the best of both worlds. You have online instruction which introduces you to a lot of the new technologies and then you have the classroom instruction that allows you to interact face to face with another instructor and with your peers. You combine those together and you're really getting an effective model for learning and also one that's replicated in many business environments, which I think it's well suited for this course. I want to get to know you a little bit better and get to have you know a little bit more about me. So this video is just a little bit about me. The next video on your course expectations is going to be all about how the course is formatted. So a little bit about me. I've been teaching at ASU since 2004, so currently today, as of this recording, a little over eight years, but it may be dated later, depending on when you're watching this. In this, I've always taught in the communication field, and I've taught courses ranging from introduction to human communication all the way to advanced level courses in crisis communication and image restoration within organizations. A lot of the topics I've talked about and taught on are present in this textbook, Business and Professional Communication for the Global Workplace, that you'll be using in this COM 259 class. I love communication, and in fact, I love it so much that about oh, a year, year and a half ago, I set out on my own, left ASU, I teach now as an adjunct faculty member because I love being involved in the classroom, and I set out on my own and started my own business, Impromptu Guru. Impromptu Guru is a speech and communication consulting company, so I get to work with individuals who need help perfecting their public speaking skills. Maybe they're speaking in front of a camera for the first time and need help navigating that environment. Or maybe an organization is having trouble shifting from one technology of communication to another. Or yet maybe another organization needs help with finding messaging strategies to really get their ideas across effectively to their clients. I help out in all of those situations. So throughout this course, in the online portion, I will incorporate as many applied examples as I can into the lectures and into the unit introduction videos so that you can see how some of these concepts play out in the real world, and I'll use that term loosely. But I love what I do in terms of communication, and I truly believe that the material in this class can help you no matter what field you choose to go into. I try to explain the material in ways that not only shows applied applications, but also in simple terms so that everyone, no matter what your experience with communication is, can understand them and then apply them in their own lives. A lot of this course will ask you to be self-reflexive in nature so that you can really think about how things apply to you. In my opinion and my philosophy of teaching is learning is done best not when you just read something, not when you can repeat something back, but when you can actually apply it to an example in the real world, in your own life, not just one from a textbook, and even better if forth you can explain it to somebody else. So throughout this course we're going to get practice doing a lot of those things, and you'll hear about more about that in the course expectations video. Just a little bit more about me to make me a little more human and not this image and voice on your computer screen is that I absolutely love to travel and traveling to different countries and different cultures has really opened up my eyes in the way that other people around the world communicate and I like to bring a lot of those lessons again back to the classroom. And on the side, I'm an avid cyclist. I really enjoy riding my bike to all different places in the state of Arizona, in California, and hopefully eventually one day I'll get to go ride cross country. That's my goal. But that's just a little bit more about me. I hope you've gotten to enjoy getting to know about me as the digital face of your online instructor. And of course, if you have any questions about me or my experiences or just have questions in general that you want to ask about how the course is structured, you may always feel free to contact me. In the course expectations video, we'll talk about the difference between when you should communicate with me and when you should communicate with your person, um, in-person face-to-face instructor based on what issue you have. Again, thank you for listening, and I look forward to seeing what all you can accomplish in COM 259 this session.